from At Home with Zane, and today's going to be a really quick DIY um, on how to recreate the look of the infamous polka dot gold Kate Spade vase. So Kate Spade sells a vase on her website, um, and if anyone is a Kate Spade lover like myself, you know that her merchandise can be pretty expensive, um, so this is in no way meant to replace her merchandise, it's just simply an alternative to get the same type of look. Um, certainly, if the vase is affordable, I say run to her website and buy it. She has great quality uh, merchandise, and so um, this is just a more budget-friendly way to get the same look. And here at, at Home with Zane, we are all about doing things on a budget. So um, the first thing that you want to do is go to the dollar store and pick up a small fishbowl size vase. Um, I also went on a hunt for um, some gold round stickers. So I've seen many renditions of this and most times it involves painting or using a marker or something to that effect. Um, I am not an artist, I'm not a painter, so there is no way that I am going to get all of these circles perfectly round. And since I have a little bit of OCD, I wouldn't be okay with that. So. I went looking for just plain gold round stickers. I, I failed at every attempt. Um, I couldn't find them at any of my local craft stores. Um, I did a little bit of searching online. I couldn't find them there. So I came up with my own alternative. So I went to the store and I purchased a package of these Avery labels. There are 24 on a sheet. Um, I think they sell them at the dollar store as well. They're usually used for pricing garage sale merchandise. So I picked up some of these Avery labels and then I used my metallic gold Rust-Oleum spray paint. So for all of my gold loving friends out there, um, you know, we love this stuff. We have stock in it. So I simply took my spray paint and I spray painted um, two coats over the top of my green labels and voila, beautiful gold labels, um, round little polka dots. And so that's what I used to create my vase. Um, I actually, I have two of them. I'm gonna use them on my nightstand. So what, what I did is I used 10 of them and I placed one on the top and then one diagonally across that on the bottom. And I followed that pattern all the way around the vase. Now, if you've ever seen her vase, you know that it is not absolutely covered in gold polka dots. Um, you certainly could use a whole package on you if you wanted to, but um, I wanted it to be pretty resemble, uh, resemblance of hers, and so I only did 10. It was all by sight, so I just judged once I had my first two on, the little pattern I could follow, and I uh, stuck those little gold polka dots on there, and this was the end result. Turned out really, really cute. And so since I have my fall decor out right now, and if you've watched any of my fall videos, you know with I um, using a using really neutral theme this year for fall. And so I went to the dollar store and I went to their fall section and I found some beautiful flowers there. Um, they have these uh, burlap peach colored dahlias. They have some really pretty cream colored mums. And then they have what are called um, glitter wildflowers. And they have a little bit of glitter on them and they were perfect for what I was looking for. What I did is I put my arrangement together first, and I highly suggest doing that. Um, I put my arrangement together, and then I put a rubber band around the bottom, and then to cover the rubber band, I just took some cream ribbon, wrapped it around the bottom of my bouquet, and then used a stick pin and stuck it through there, and it's almost as if you're creating a bouquet for a wedding. Now, the reason I did this is because I don't intend to use floral foam inside of my vase. I wanna have that nice, clear glass look. And so um, in order for the pieces to stay in place and afford me the ability to um, sort of situate things the way I want to, I put it together first. And then I'm just simply going to drop it down inside of my vase. And then once you have it in there, you can maneuver it around however you'd like. Um, and that's it. So it's a beautiful arrangement. It matches my fall decor. They're gonna sit on my nightstands. I have this gorgeous vase that looks really high end and we did it all on a budget in very little time. So 
Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave your comments below. You can visit my website, www.athomewithzane.com. We'll look for you the next time. And remember, it's your home. Create a space you'll truly love.